Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and I'm one of the software engineers here at Powbox working on the email API. And today, I'll be helping you folks get set up with the Powbox email API, and ultimately send some email using the Python 3 Powbox SDK. Awesome, let's jump right into it. So I went ahead here and created a free account for the email API at Powbox's website. And as you can see here, this is our self-service guide. But since I'll be going through these instructions on the video, I'm actually going to exit out of this guide and return to the Powbox admin dashboard. So you're first going to want to identify the Powbox email API section at the nav bar on the left and navigate to the settings tab. And from here, we're going to want to do two things today. We're first going to want to verify a domain that we have that we are allowed to send mail on behalf of. And secondly, we want to add some API keys so that we can use these keys once we start to integrate the API with our own code. So let's go ahead, and for the sake of the example, I already went ahead and did this with my test domain, letscareshare.com, but I'll walk you through the steps of how you would do it on your own. So you would click Add Domain there, you would input your own domain, you click on Add. So this will bring up a screen that asks us to add a TXT record to the DNS settings of our domain. So for me, I have my domain at Namecheap. And as you can see, I went ahead and added a TXT record with the PB verify host and the corresponding value. So once you do this and you allow some time for these records to update, you'll eventually have verified your domain and that screen that we just were at should now look like this. So now from here, we're gonna to wanna to add our API keys that we can use in our project. So I'll go down here to click on new API key. Since we're working with the Powbox Python 3 SDK, I'm gonna name the API key that, but you can really name it anything you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save, and I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna open this up in our development environment and just paste it in here because we'll use this very soon. Awesome. So now let's hop into our development environment to actually integrate with the Powbox Python 3 SDK. So on the left here, I have opened up a Sublime Text text editor with the API key pasted in there. And on the right, I have a new console or command line window open and ready to go. So the first things first with Python best practices is that when you're working with packages that you want to install for a specific project and not globally, you're going to want to use a virtual environment. So let's go ahead and use Python 3's venv command to create a virtual environment called API Demo. Now once that's created, let's activate it by going source, demo, bin, activate. And lastly, let's cd into the, er, into the directory. While I'm at it, I'm also going to use the Sublime command line tools to add this directory to the project on the left. Cool, cool. So now let's open up. This is the GitHub uh, repository for the Powbox Python 3. You can be found on GitHub or, and that's also going to be linked in the description below. So I will quickly walk through the installation setup guide and we've already created our Powbox API credentials. And now we're going to move on to configuring API credentials locally. So I'm going to put this off to the side on the right and I'm going to have our Sublime window open up on the left. So for this project, for the quick start at least, we're going to be using the Python package config to handle our environment secrets, our development secrets. So your project might be already handling these on their own with a different package or even just hard coding it in there. But for best practices and for this example, we're using config. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these environment secrets setup. I'm going to update these values with the real values for our setup. So that's our API key. And for our example, our host name was let's care share. And this is all you need. So we'll go and save this as config.cfg. Cool. Now I'm going to move the readme to the left. I'm going to go back to the console and I'm going to run two installation commands. So we're going to install config first. And we're going to then install Powbox Python 3. Beautiful. So now with those installed, we can scroll down and we can copy some of the starter code. 
So in Sublime, in our project, I'm going to create a new file. Let's call it main.py, and this is going to contain our starter code. So this is the starter code from the readme. The first two lines are importing the Powbox package. Lines 4, 5, and 6 are reading our configuration file that we set up here. And line 8 is instantiating a new Powbox API client with the values set in our configuration file. Lines 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 are all setting up parameters for our email. For example, recipients is an array of recipients. So for example, let's update this to nick at powbox.com. And for our from parameter, let's make sure to use the domain that we just verified on Powbox's web app in the previous step, which is let's careshare.com. That's for our subject. Let's say hello, everyone. Testing Powbox Python 3, exclamation point. And our content is going to be this object here uh, with this text plane key. Lines 13 is taking these parameters and kind of massaging it into create a payload that we'll send to uh, the Powbox server. On line 14, we're actually sending this object and lines 15 through 17 is printing out a response. So with this setup, let's go to our terminal and let's actually fire it off. Python 3, main.py. Voila, status code 200 with our payload. And we'll, in the next section, we can talk a little bit about what just happened there. Wonderful, so we just got back our first response from sending a message with the Powbox Python 3 SDK. So as you can see, we got back HTTP code of 200, which means all good, we're in business. Also can see that we've received this payload here with a source tracking ID. And this source tracking ID is really important and also really cool because one of the other features of our email API is that you can submit this key, this tracking ID in a get request and you can see the email distribution, uh, you can get the disposition of the email. So whether that email was delivered, uh, in transit, uh, bounced, you can see what happened with that email just by passing in that tracking ID. And on the left here, you can see that the newest email in my inbox is indeed the email that we just sent coming from nick at letscareshare.com. So this was a wonderful example of how you can get started with the Powbox email API and specifically the Python, Python SDK in under 10 minutes. So I hope you run with this, and I hope that your applications begin to integrate with our newest Python 3 SDK. I'm Nick from Powbox. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha.